Israel's security cabinet announced plans to return approximately 18,000 Gazans working in Israel back to the besieged Palestinian enclave, severing all contact with Gaza. This decision followed Hamas's terror attacks and kidnapping rampage, prompting Israel to shut all access to the enclave, leaving many Gazans stranded. Prior to the conflict, these workers had permits to cross into Israel, where they earned significantly higher wages than in Gaza, where unemployment rates are among the world's highest, and over 80% of the population lives in poverty. Israel's move worsened the dire humanitarian crisis in Gaza, which has been under a blockade by Israel and Egypt since 2007, severely restricting the movement of goods and people. The enclave relies heavily on imported fuel and electricity, and the complete siege imposed by Israel, stopping food, water, medicine and fuel supplies, deepened the crisis. The situation became even more catastrophic after the outbreak of the war on October 7th, with Israeli airstrikes causing significant casualties, including over 9,000 deaths, half of them children, and injuring around 22,000 others. Humanitarian organizations, including UNRRA, have described the conditions in Gaza as unprecedented, with civil order breaking down and urgent calls for a ceasefire to allow desperately needed aid into the enclave. While some aid trickled in through efforts like aid trucks from the Egyptian Red Crescent, experts warned that the assistance was vastly insufficient to address the ongoing crisis.